Hey everybody. On this episode of Mr. Fix, I'm going to be mounting one of these Vivo desk mounts uh, and also installing a new uh, Asus monitor uh, to the back of it. These, these are certain types that you're able to mount right to the back. And uh, But the, the challenge to this is that we're going to try to mount it to one of these flip top desks which you can't mount it to this because it's going to flip and it's going to cause you issues as far as uh, being able to use the total functionality of this desk. So uh, we're going to review, we're going to look at it, what works best and uh, we'll go from there. All right now as you can see by uh, the way it's, it can either go by a clamp or it can go through a hole and then tighten. So this is the back of the desk, which I'm going to be pushing back there. Now, as you can see, I probably still want the functionality to close it if I have to. So I don't want to wreck that. So but where am I going to mount it? Well, I'm not going to go through this because I don't want to wreck it. But because this is the back, I'm going to make some kind of wooden mount that you don't necessarily see because it's in behind and it's going to go up against the wall. And I'll probably protrude it out a little bit. Maybe at our 2 by 4 I'm going to see what kind of scraps that I have. Secure it there. So that way that the arm comes up a little bit and I'm able to turn it. Or, if need be, what I can do is turn it sideways like this and then I'll still be able to close it. I'm going to unpackage this guy just to get a better look. And then I'll be able to size it up. There's that clamp that we were talking about. Here's the whole arm that comes, because it comes all in one, which is good. Not too much to put together as far as this is concerned. It's probably zip tied because it's under pressure. So this probably will swivel like that. So if I get a look like this, obviously I'm gonna turn it like that afterwards and then it will turn. So if I was to do something like this, obviously I probably wouldn't be able to open it because it clicks. But if we had to, we can go like this, put the monitor way out of the way, like that, and no problem. So what I'm going to do here, I wonder if it's a little bit higher, probably something like, I'm going to shoot for something sitting right like that if you see it. So probably if I'm able to probably mount something right underneath this like that, and then it should be should be good. So we're gonna go to the workshop and see what kind of two by four that we have or something like that. So I cut a couple of pieces of oak, nice and strong. So this is about five inches. So I just wanted to measure it to make sure. And that one goes and it touches probably the back. So it, it looks looks about right. So what I got to do now is that planning on having this piece here like this and then to reinforce, mind you it's pretty good, but then to probably reinforce what I'll probably do is probably do another piece like that and then that way there I could clamp right onto this. I'd put this on the inside but with a big clamp like that, you know, it might be taking away from there. So I'm going to screw all this together. And then I'm going to measure, center, mount it, put this bracket on. Okay. Always pre-drill oak or else you can crack it. Kind of get this going a little bit. Rather than on a unfinished surface, but hey, what are you gonna do? So that one's almost all the way in. Don't over tighten it, it's oak. It'll crack. This one here, we're just gonna drill another hole away from there. Uh, 
And always what you're supposed to do here is make sure that you're pre-drilling to the length of your screw that you're gonna put in. Like I said, if you don't do that, this will crack on you. And don't over tighten. Nice and flush. Should be pretty good. What I'll do here is, like I said, typically you might be able to get away with it by doing it this nice and strong. Let me see this. This you see how it won't catch all the way. I don't like that. So at the end of the day, this will be behind here. You'll hardly see it. And I'll probably mount it like this. And if, it, if I put it like this, I just want to make sure. See, everything's good. And it's behind here. And once I put that, uh, you know, the, um, the plate on top, uh, you, you won't see it. And it's behind, uh, behind here that goes up against the wall. That should work out pretty good. There's a good little lip up at the top here that I'll be able to screw to. This has got a gap. If I wanted to screw here, I'd probably have to put a shim or something there. What I'm probably going to do is a couple of screws here, maybe three screws. I'll screw through that. It should be all right. Looks pretty solid, but like I said, probably one, I could probably even do two more just to make sure. So that way there, tomorrow, if we have to take this off, you take it off, it's the back, you'll never notice. Very strong. All right. All right, so upon further measurement, what I did was I switched it from a little bit more, I, the other one was five and a half inches long. So it kind of like worked out better the other way. And if you could see here, it just clears the top. See that? So it actually worked out pretty nicely like that. A trick on the back of this Aces, they have the four screws, but they don't tell you how to get these little plugs out. Get a nail or a little pin, once you get them out, you'll see that the threaded hole is right there. Then from the stand, check your, uh, your screws that you have and make sure that they tie in. This one's 100%, so we're good to go. Don't use a drill for this. It's got to go in like butter. I'm not going to over tighten. I just want to make sure they're all good right now. Make sure you, you test it to see which holes are which. Washer, and usually they come with washers here, so make sure you got those on. All right, 
So that all looks okay. I've already fed an HDMI. So then I'll be able to kind of slide that one in. Actually, that's not the HDMI. HDMI is right here. <laughs> Great. All right. It looked like it, but it wasn't. It was the other one. So this one comes with two HDMIs. Comes with a display port. Comes with a regular VGA. And it's got a speaker out on it. Uh, the on-off switch seems to be at the back, which is a little funny. Is there an on-off switch at the front? I don't know. Is it touchy? Oh, yeah, there it is. There is? Yeah, right here at the bottom. Okay, that's a little funny. So now my power cord, I didn't give it probably enough. So I'll just kind of feed a little bit more here. And you won't really see this. Now, afterwards, when I put it in, and I'll switch to on. I just want to make sure that I have enough cable at the back here, switching it all, and it looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit too much power, but... You know, should be, should be okay. It looks, looks okay. So, what we're going to do now is everything looks all right. Uh, we're probably going to adjust the tilt afterwards. And then I saw a screw. There's a screw on this side or this one, probably for tension, as far as keeping it straight or not. But it's not a big deal. It seems pretty solid enough. Uh, there's a tension one on this. I don't know. We can play with it and see. It gives you uh, Allen keys for everything that we've done. This one has a Phillips at the end of it. So we're gonna clean up a little bit. I'm gonna push it back and see what it looks like. So here we go, guys. This is as far as I take it. Now it's up to her. To be honest with you, it's a little bit far back of the wall, which I would like, but where this desk is located, it's kind of like parallel with that other wall, so it's okay. And when you push it back, it's kind of like right back there and it's not really in somebody's face. So I think it really worked out okay. But each mount is going to be different depending on what you want. I could have bought a wall mount for this, but we didn't want to go that route because I don't plan on the kids being here all that long. So as soon as they're out, this is gone and I don't have to patch any walls. Because we're going to cover that in another episode of Mr. Fix. How to fix a house after your kids leave. And hopefully they never come back. On this episode of Mr. Fix, I'm going to show you how to put a cold air return into a basement. Well, hi guys. This guy's really good. You should watch him. But anyways, so I think it really turned out pretty well. Uh, the only issue that I have is maybe it's not center. It's kind of hard to judge when you have that mount like that and you're not pulling back and depending on where you want to keep it consistently. Obviously, I could pull it out a little bit and I could be more center. Uh, you know, it all depends on, on, you know, where your center is and how you want to judge it. But I think all in all, it worked out uh, really well. And thanks for watching Mr. Fix. And you know what? I'm going to be back watching it because this guy, he's amazing. So 